With the release of that Spider-Man trailer, it looks like we are getting the Sinister Six in the MCU. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about some books that still might be worth picking up before we get the movie. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video with Swaggle Haas. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the Sinister Six. That is right, we got the confirmation in the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer that we're gonna get some version of the Sinister Six team in there. There were so many Easter eggs, all the signs are pointing to it. And in this video, I kinda of wanna talk about, obviously, some of the books that relate to the Sinister Six properties, and then also some other books that I still think might be worth picking up before we get the movie. But before I get into the books, if you guys can drop me a like or a comment or subscribe, if you're enjoying the content, help support the channel, do one of those things, and I would appreciate it. But man, we got to talk about that trailer. I woke up early this morning. I saw that trailer. You know, I had plans for like another video, but then I was like, oh man, I got to get this out now. I got to talk about some Sinister Six. We got to re-record this video and put it out today. So uh, here I am. I'm going to kind of go through, uh, you know, some of the things that I think are interesting about the trailer. And then I'm also going to kind of dive into, you know, the books that I think sort of relate to, uh, you know, the movie and also what might still be worth picking up uh, before we actually get the film. Because obviously, you know, I can sit here and tell you, oh, go get Spider-Man Annual Number 1 or go get, uh, you know, uh, First Appearance of Dr. Octopus, Spider-Man 3. But like, you know, we all know that those books are going to the moon at this point. Uh, but there's still a lot of good books that are maybe still worth picking up if you're interested in them. And I got one book. Uh, that, that I'm going to save for last that I really think is a super, super sleeper within context to all of this stuff. Uh, and I, I'm super, super excited to, you know, share it with you guys here today. But the very first book we got to talk about is, of course, Amazing Spider-Man Annual Number 1. This right here is the first appearance of the Sinister Six team. Uh, this is a book that came out in 1964, written by Stan Lee, drawn by Steve Ditko. And of course, this team was comprised of Dr. Octopus, Sandman, Electro, Vulture, Craven, and Mysterio. And this is a book that, you know, outside of just the trailer, you know, dropping just today, I mean, this book was already insanely hot. I mean, we're talking like this, uh, you know, pushing 2K for, you know, the lowest grades for this this book right here. And, uh, you know, this is one that obviously is now going to be, you know, uh, scorching. I mean, we're talking like, you know, molten lava hot, you know, this book right here. And this is one that I would love to have for my collection, but I, I feel like this is not a book that I'm going to be getting anytime soon for myself. Uh, but again, you know, they're not necessarily doing this roster of the uh, Sinister Six team. I mean, you know, we're getting some version of it, but it looks like they're doing kind of like a, an amalgamation of different characters. So a lot of the books that I want to continue to talk about here are books that are relating to the ones that it looks like we have on the table. Now, of course, we have Amazing Spider-Man number three, first appearance of Dr. Octopus, another book that is extremely hot. Uh, we have Amazing Spider-Man number four, first appearance of Sandman. We didn't necessarily see the actor in the trailer, but we did get little Easter eggs of like a sand cloud getting kicked up. Uh, additionally, we got a little Easter egg, uh, you know, uh, the, the Reddit, the Reddit uh, detectives were uh, highlighting, you know, here, here's like an image of lizard. Apparently he was like uh, behind Peter in one of the uh, images in the trailer. Uh, we have Amazing Spider-Man number nine, first appearance of Electro. Uh, it's been confirmed that Jamie Foxx is going to be reprising his role. We got some blasts of lightning uh, in the trailer as well. And then uh, lastly, we got the the uh, the, the goblin bomb uh, there with the laugh. So it, it's presumed that Willem Dafoe is going to be making his return. And of course, Amazing Spider-Man number 14, 14, first appearance of the Green Goblin, another book that relates to this current uh, movie right now. And then lastly, the rumors have been that the sixth member of the team is actually going to be Rhino. So I'm going to point out... Amazing Spider-Man number 49, first appearance of Rhino. But these six books right here, I think are the most interesting with regards to, you know, the, the current uh, market and the current climate, because this looks like uh, the team that we are going to be getting uh, for the Spider-Man Sinister Six no Way Home movie. But I'm not going to spend too much time showing you guys the numbers here because I think obviously these books are super, super hot. They're, you know, uh, high premiums right now. So I did want to talk about a lot of other books that I think are interesting, mostly with a push on uh, second appearances here. So starting us off, you know, Amazing Spider-Man number 11. This is the second appearance of Dr. Octopus. Uh, again, you know, still an expensive book. Obviously, this is a sub ASM 20 here. We're talking about the 11th issue. So still a very, very early book. 
uh, with regards to, you know, the ASM run. But, you know, down here at the bottom, you know, this is a book that, I, you know, you could find at a low grade. Maybe you can find a two around the $400, $500 range or so. So, you know, again, I mean, that's still a lot of money depending on what your budget is. But if you're someone who wants that early Dr. Octopus book, you know, compared to the, you know, ASM number three, I mean, you're, you're talking spending $2,000 for that one, whereas this one can cost you, you know, a, a third of that. So definitely an interesting option if you are someone who wants to get, you know, a second appearance of Dr. Octopus. Additionally, later on in the run, there's books past the number 50 issue range where we see like books like ASM number 53. This was written by Stanley Still and drawn by John Romita Sr. Uh, this is just a great Doc Ock cover right here. So, you know, I think that a lot of these covers are still going to get really hot in the market as well. Uh, this is a book right now that you can actually find this book for less than $100. So I think it is a really good option for someone who, you know, doesn't want to spend, you know, the type of money you have to spend to get those first and second appearances. Additionally, ASM number 55, a great Doc Ock cover. I love the reflection of him in the glasses right there. I think a lot of these covers are going to get hot, especially as we get more trailers and the movie comes out and we see, you know, the actual full team in effect. So this is a great book right here uh, to, to get your hands on. Again, another one that's under sub $100. Uh, Strange Tales number 115. This is the second appearance of Sandman and is also the origin of Doctor Strange. So you get that bonus right there. And so this is a book that I think is really interesting to pick up. Obviously, you know, at the highest grade, it's going to cost a lot of money here. But down at the bottom, you know, you can find this book, you know, under the $200 range or so. So this one is, you know, a sleeper kind of pick. Uh, you get the other factor that it's the origin of Doctor Strange. So not only will this get hot with regards to the Spider-Man movie, but it'll probably get hot again later on when we get Doctor Strange 2. So definitely a book worth keeping your eye on. We're gonna to continue to talk about Sinister Six books in a second, but before we do, let's take a minute to talk about the sponsor of this video, Nine Panel. Now, there's a new place online to buy key comic books, and it's called ninepanel.com, a great place to hunt for back issues that you've been looking for. Nine Panel is a marketplace, which means all the books listed on the site are from different comic book sellers and local comic shops from all over the US. It's easy to search for key books and buy from as many shops as you want in a single secure checkout. If you wanna sell books, you can do that too. Nine Panel lets you create a custom brand of shop page, set your own policies, and list as many books as you want for free. The site looks great, it runs really smoothly. I definitely recommend it. So go check out Nine Panel and start buying and selling today. Additionally, we have here ASM number 44. This is actually the second appearance of the lizard. You know, so ASM number six, first appearance of the lizard. This one is a really cool book to, to get your hands on. Second appearance of the lizard, uh, definitely a really, really cool cover. And one that, again, you can find probably this one for less than like $50 if you're if you're lucky, if you find a good deal. But, you know, def certainly you can get it for under 100. Maybe you can get it for under 50. Then ASM 45, another great lizard cover. Uh, this is the third appearance of lizard. Another book that you can definitely find this one for under $50. So definitely worth uh, investigating with this one. Uh, we have Daredevil number two. This is the second appearance of Electro and second appearance of Daredevil. This is a really cool book for that reason. I mean, you're getting a double second appearance here. Definitely something that might be worth picking up if you are into uh, Electro or, you know, if you're into Daredevil, definitely worth picking up. And this is a book, of course, you know, is a little more expensive than some of the other ones. But, you know, when we go down here to the bottom, we see these fair market values. I mean, this is a book that you can probably land for, you know, that $300 range or so at the low grade. So might be worth checking out this one if you don't have the budget for, you know, uh, ASM number nine. But if you don't have the budget for this, you know, definitely check out a book like ASM number 82, just another great John Romina senior cover. Uh, this is just a, a cool Electro one here. Uh, these these books, again, that are like from the 50 to 100 range, I feel like are still great buys overall because everybody loves ASM. Everybody wants to collect, you know, that top one, those top 100 ASM books. You know, it's a great Silver Age uh, cover here. And I feel like just all these cover buys are going to be, you know, ones that get hot, especially when we see Jamie Foxx in his Electro outfit. I'm sure people are going to go uh, crazy for that one. Additionally, here we have uh, the Green Goblin. Uh, this is ASM 17, second appearance of Green Goblin. Definitely worth checking out if you can't afford that first appearance. Again, you know, a book that maybe you can snipe for the $200, $300 range or so. Second appearances, definitely uh, stuff that is, you know, heating up in the market, worth investing in, in my opinion. Other books to talk about, of course, are ASM 39. This is the first John Romita art, and this is actually where we get the, re the reveal that the Green Goblin is 
is Norman Osborn. Additionally here, the, the next issue, ASM 40, uh, this is the origin of the Green Goblin. So great books to have, you know, for this character. And then also ASM 122, this is the death of the Green Goblin. I mean, the, the quote unquote death of the Green Goblin. Obviously the Green Goblin has returned many times, but these ones are all great books to pick up if you are a fan of the Green Goblin character. Okay, but the last book I want to talk about is, you know, I had to do some research on this. You know, obviously, you know, I want that ASM number one or ASM annual number one, get my hands on the first appearance of the Sinister Six. But, you know, as I was looking at those numbers, I was thinking to myself, hey, what is the second appearance of the Sinister Six? And it wasn't actually clear to me what uh, their second appearance actually was. So I had to like kind of do some digging and do some research. And I came across this book right here that I was like, oh my God, this is an amazing cover, a, a classic copper 90s book and is actually not that hot in the market right now. And I was like, hey, this is a book that, you know, people should be grabbing right here because this is the second appearance of the Sinister Six. And what book am I talking about? I'm actually talking about ASM number 337, this epic Eric Larson cover uh, written by David Michelin. This is a book that came out in 1990. Now, you're probably thinking, oh, uh, you know, on the Marvel Wiki, it says that the, you know, Sinister Six second appearance was actually ASM number three. 34. And, you know, you could definitely discuss that as a, as a potential. And let me just show you guys here. 334 is this issue here because this is called the return of the Sinister Six. You can see here, uh, let me just pull this up uh, right here on the top of the title, the return of the Sinister Six. This is part four of six. But, you know, I went into my Marvel Unlimited. I started reading uh, the book, the books right here and just to do my research. And it's still a great storyline, the return of the Sinister Six. But in issue number 334, it's basically them assembling the team. You know, it's it's them kind of going one issue at a time, kind of recruiting all the villains uh, to, to go up against against Spider-Man, but it's not until this book right here, 337, where we get all six members. Uh, of course, in this one, we've replaced Craven with uh, the Hobgoblin, but we get all six members here, and there's a, a, a announcement from Dr. Octopus where he's like, finally, we have the Sinister Six back. So this one right here, in my opinion, in the market, should be recognized as the second full appearance of the Sinister Six team. A great Eric Larson cover. I think this one is super, super cool, super epic. And I definitely think is one that is maybe worth, you know, picking up if you are a fan of the Sinister Six team. I can definitely see this one getting hot uh, just based off of the cover alone and the fact that it's the second appearance. So definitely a cool book to grab. And then the next one in the run here, uh, uh, number 338, this is ASM 338. Uh, once, you know, they, they group together, they obviously go against Spider-Man. And this is just a cool like battle cover right here. I think this one is really awesome. A Another great Eric Larson cover covers. He's got some amazing uh, air, um, covers for the Spider-Man run here. Of course, he's known for his like Venom ones that he did with with Spider-Man. So I think these ones are really really cool. So definitely definitely a storyline worth checking out. The Return of the Sinister Six. Uh, some copper '90s book goodness. Anyways, that's all for this video. Those are just me kind of talking about, you know, the Sinister Six and kind of going through some books. Uh, I'm really, really excited about uh, the, the movie. I, I would love to see this team uh, come into the MCU in some kind of way. Uh, and I definitely, definitely can't wait. Anyway, that is all I have for this video. Drop me a like, comment, subscribe if you're enjoying the content and I will see you in the next one.